and welcome to the Sheer Luck Show. I'm Nana Champong and we have another fab show for you today. Lou and I have you covered for spring fashion. We sat down to talk wish list, the best of the high street, Instagram inspo to follow for the new season. Plus, we take a look at what went on behind the scenes of a very special dinner that Georgie hosted last week for Blush Talent Management. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guests. I'm joined by content creator and track and field star, NL Marilyn, and brand consultant and digital creator, Stephanie Waxberg, and creative director and founder of Yate, Danielle Windsor. Before we begin our chats today, I wanted to say on behalf of all of us at Sherlock's how deeply sorry we are to learn about the cancer diagnosis of the Princess of Wales. We send her all our love and best wishes for a speedy recovery. What did you guys all think it's when you really heard? Sad. It's so sad, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. just devastating. She's so young. I would love to move on to a jollier topic. Guys, we're about to have a four-day week. We're getting into Easter. I would love to know what your Easter traditions are, what you have planned. More importantly, what are you going to cook? <laughs> <laughs> I want that the food when it comes to Easter. <laughs> Danielle, let me start with you. Um, well, I'm actually going to go back up to Manchester and see my sister, have all the cousins together. Um, so I'm a big baker. Yeah, oh, I absolutely oh, love yeah. baking. baking. <laughs> and cooking, yes, what so. is your signature bake? What do you love like um, baking the most? I mean, guys, honestly, I bake every Sunday. Oh, um, my my downtime, so nice. yeah, I really like to cook. Um, but yeah, I'll just be cooking a really big Easter cake yeah. um, oh, and gorgeous. I'd probably do some cookies as well. Oh, There's oh. some really simple recipes just even on Instagram, just like yeah. cute funnies yeah. and really simple things to do with the children as well. Do you put all of your bakes on Instagram? Like, no, can we see absolutely them? not. No, I mean my bake on Sunday was <laughs> and, and there was, should we tend to neighbors? Yeah, let's tend to neighbors. That's so like cute. really bad dry cupcakes, but oh. I mean at least I try. Oh, and Stephanie, how about you? So I'm actually going up north as well. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Northerner too, and I'm going to go up to the Lake District. Oh, nice. so we're going to have a very wholesome family weekend up there. I think the kids just love to like run around outside, yeah. do a little Easter egg hunt. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to be cooking on the first night, so I've got the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but I do a very good chicken pie. Oh, nice. So I'm going to get the kids to help out with doing some like cute little pastry toppers nice. for it, maybe or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you got like some... any traditions? Is there something that you do kind of every Easter? Uh, there that... wasn't no, but I feel like I need to like <laughs> I know, start one now. Yeah. 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 I think we definitely need to maybe like do some Easter bonnets or something. Yeah, like, like very Easter cute. Hunt. I yeah, think exactly. that that's yeah. like a really, yeah. really that's sweet. A good one. We never did that, but like. <laughs> it's a really fun tradition. We yeah, do, exactly. and there's a, my sister does a golden egg. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So my sis, my daughter Mabel, she's really competitive this year. That she just really wants to find that golden egg. That's all she's talking yeah. about. She's like, that egg um, will be mine. Yeah, but she's got oh. four boys to compete with. So let's oh. see. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Bring it on, the girls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the golden egg. I'm hoping my sister might put a few because yeah, I don't want any. Gets competitive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and Marilyn, what are you doing for Easter? Uh, so we're from a really big family. So we're all going to my mum's and my mum's doing like the main cooking and then we're just going to like chip in. My sister's a really big baker. Oh, she, yeah. oh, so nice. she will bake something and then I'm going to make like an oxtail stew. Oh, yeah. That's wow. Like, yeah. Fancy. That sounds delicious. Yeah, I perfected it like last year. So yeah. every big gathering. Is what <laughs> That's your go-to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull that out. Um, Love it. Yeah, so I have a daughter, but she's still too young. I really want to do yeah. an Easter egg hunt as well. Yeah. But she's still young. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, lovely. I am hoping, usually for Easter, I actually cook for all of my brothers, my oh, sisters, no. nieces nice. and nephews. Um, what's my mum and dad yeah, are usually away. Yeah. I do a massive lamb roast dinner oh, wow. with like all of the trimmings and then you'll have two desserts. I love baking as well. Oh. So I'll do a sticky toffee pudding oh my gosh, and my then favorite. an apple and pear crumble. Nice. Um, but they're all going to miss that this year because oh. I, I wanted to go somewhere hot. I haven't decided exactly where yet, <laughs> um, but I'm going to be away for Easter. Oh, nice. So, yeah, so it's, it's always good. fun to eat, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that honestly is all about me. It really is about the food. I know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, ladies. Now, if you need a bit of fashion inspiration for the long weekend, the next segment is perfect for you. From high street picks to the accessories of the season, here's everything Lou and I are loving right now. Mm -hmm. 
We are back for a, another edition of Style Watch. We're talking yes. all things spring fashion. It's finally here. It is, it is. I'm so excited for spring. It's obviously getting lighter in the evenings and yeah, I'm ready for a wardrobe refresh. I know, and I feel like all the things we talked about in our last one, you can actually start wearing now. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so what have you bought so far this season? So far, I actually got a sponsored ad on Instagram for a pair of um, By Far shoes. Clicked on the ad, they were in orange orange but I actually got the metallic blue which obviously yeah last time I was talking about yeah. coloured metallics yeah. being a trend so I saw them and they were in the sale as well. Oh when that happens <laughs> it's just and they've got your size. Yeah how about you? So the, I've actually only got one thing so far this yeah. season I've been very restrained um, and my husband bought me a little Lifner dark brown suede not like a little tote, it's kind of like a little baby shopper. Oh, yeah. Little Lifner, if you don't know it, do the best accessories. Lots of suede, which I feel like is really big for this mm. um, season. And a lot of green as well, oh, so maybe it's nice. coffee. So what about wish list? Wish list, I mean, the list is very, very long, <laughs> but absolutely in the number one spot at the moment is the Loewe, I think it's called the Squeeze. It is a gorgeous bag, it is in this delightful kind of bright green colour. Obviously, we know how much I love yeah. colour. It would go with so much in my yeah. wardrobe. I really yeah. love the Bottega Sardine, like so many colours. They've got a new, it's kind of like a pistachio. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the Row Margot bag, like I hate that that's like haunting me <laughs> and so many people have it and I don't understand how they've got it because it's like <laughs> it's so, so expensive. expensive. And then the other is the Kate black leather shoulder bag with the stud, which is just, you know, if I want my studded fix, yeah. I will. Um, but then actually I went to Mass Minuti on the weekend and they have got so many amazing leather handbags and like mm. braided leather, like real like work of art. like. Yeah. Just just so stunning. For me, it's handbags and sunglasses. Yeah. That's what I'm really am like obsessing over so at the good. moment. The other thing that I'm really desperate for is a trench. Trench okay. season is here. I do already have two, but However. I saw. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you follow, on Instagram her handle is luckygirlh, she's called Hang. Yeah. She's wearing such a simple outfit, it's like a grey jumper, mm. jeans and a Burberry vintage trench. Yeah. The way that it hung is just so stunning yeah. and I just don't think trenches these days, like the vintage ones. They just ones. don't fit like that or no. just like hang, so yeah. So Anyways, you... so I'm on the hunt for the perfect vintage trench. trench. Oh. You <laughs> mentioned sunnies. Yes. What uh, sunnies? Yeah, but at the moment, Loewe have got a really great, um, they're kind of green lens, yeah. um, aviator style in that I would really like. Yeah. Fendi, again, green, but it's more a kind of like mint green and they are square. Yeah. Um, and then Tom Ford are just doing aviators, like so the giant cool. ones, so, so well. I already own two pairs, but there's a different pair that are Love slightly <laughs> different shades that, yeah, they're my top three. Okay. So How about you? What are you after? So I am real, real diehard Ray-Ban Wayfarer. Yes, so I you don't, do. I Love don't Ray really wear <laughs> anything else, but I went to Moscow on the weekend yeah. and they had an amazing kind of vintage aviator style with then the graduated lens. Oh yeah, lovely. And they were really cool. Yeah. And what about shoes? What are you shoes? The Prada. So they've got the square toe yeah. kind of mules, but also the other pair that they have. And um, they're actually well, what I would consider a low heel, but red, bright red court shoes. Again, they'd be one of those shoes you'd put on, and instantly your whole yeah. outfit is completely made. So good. Speaking of red, as well, <laughs> there's a pair of Jeffrey Campbell red mesh flats, which yeah. I think are really cool. What about brands? Which brand are you? Brands. I am loving the own studio. <gasps> they are incredible. I have literally just discovered them um, uh, and I'm like, where have you been all of my life? Because the occasion wear, like yeah. they had dresses that would have been like perfect for the BAFTAs yes. or the Brits. They um, made my wedding suit. No way. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, and um, so yeah, they do the most incredible bridal selection. As you said, they're actually their new drop of bridal. Yeah. The designs are so stunning. Oh. And then yeah, as you said, they do amazing ready to wear yeah. and kind of black tie gowns yeah, as well. Yeah, it's the black it's the black tie that like really kind of drew me in and I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, like I don't know where I'm going in this, but you want to, yeah. So what's about you? What brands are you um, loving? Yeah, love those guys. But I've got to give a special shout out to Mass Duty. As I said, I went in mm. to their new um, concept.
concept store on the weekend. Yes. And it is so amazing right now. If you love brands like The Row, mm. who do that kind of modern minimalism so well, like neutral tones, it's just such an amazing, affordable option for that. Everything is so stunning and it looks so expensive. Yeah. Speaking of the high street, have yes. you seen any mega pieces? Um, Mango at the moment have just released their new capsule collection and I'm such a huge fan of the high street when they do these more elevated yeah. kind of smaller line collections so again because we're going into wedding season and the races like these are dresses for just every occasion yeah. and there's a really nice kind of like bandeau for the top that you can wear with a little pink maxi Love skirt it. and then really amazing red dress with a big kind of like flower corsage yeah. here so yeah. so yeah mango number one for me at the moment amazing. how about you yeah mine is similar it's the zara limited edition collection yeah. and there is the most amazing silver sequin mini dress with these mega sleeves. Very oh my gosh, well I've not seen this. Oh my god, Nana, it's so <laughs> incredible. Like, I want to go to a party yeah. just so I can wear that dress. And then there's another Zara one, which is like a long maxi, kind of sheer, but it's got like beading that runs through it, just like oh so gosh, Where sexy. have I been? Like, yeah. how have I not seen this? I'm going to show this piece after I feel like they're right <laughs> up your street. But yeah, real fun they same pieces. And great. I feel like fun party pieces like that, yeah. you don't need to spend a fortune on. And what about designer? Um, uh, designer, again, last time we were talking kind of style watch, I said that I was really excited for short shorts. Yes. They're here. I feel like I can start wearing them. Love it. And it's going to be okay. <laughs> um, so I've seen an amazing pair from Stella McCartney that are nude, but with really amazing embellishment on Ooh. them. I think a lot of people would wear short shorts at the moment, maybe like with some sheer tights yeah. and things like that. I'm not that girl. I love a bare yeah. leg. Um, so You've yeah. got it, it. <laughs> So I would be wearing them with a bare leg, maybe an oversized kind of like shirt, yeah. or like tucked half, tucked in, tucked out. How about you? My like absolute dream <laughs> wish list, never gonna happen, is this amazing Kate leather biker. So anyway, that's not gonna happen. So I'm on the hunt yeah. for a very cool modern leather crop biker. Mm -hmm. I don't see that name. But the other piece which I feel is more likely, hopefully, is okay. a um, cream suit from Philippa K. Yeah. I love a bit of spring tailoring and Philippa K does that like clean lines so so well. So yeah I've got my yeah. eye on that. So um, okay final one, your style crush at the moment. She is called Karen Blanchard and I love, she's always changing up her hair, all of her looks are incredible. She plays a lot with kind of like volume yeah. as well as colour. You know it's just one of those really fun people to follow yeah. on Instagram yeah. for inspo. Um, so she's yeah my number one discovery at the moment. Love it. Love it. Who are you loving at the moment? Do you know, I love Rochelle Rowlings, mm -hmm. who's been on the show a few times. We're a huge fan of her style. And she wore this beautiful blue Albus Le Mans dress the other night. And it was like, like you love, that sheer bottom. Yeah. And she's just got a really cool, eclectic, mm. modern, but feminine and pretty yeah. style. And I just, I really, I get a lot of inspo from looking at her yeah. looks. Um, and the other person who posted this weekend, Sally Matthews, she had these um, cargo pants, which are also on my wish list yes. for spring. Um, and the cape belt and tailoring, and she just, and the mega aviator sunnies yeah. and a really cool um, <laughs> just sunglasses, the look, sunglasses chain. And you're just like, save, save, save. <laughs> you look incredible. Um, and it's just like, almost like those pieces that probably you have in your wardrobe yeah. with a few little spring updates. So good. Yeah, make, it, make it all work. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So fun I'm going ages. to like Zara because I haven't seen those yeah, pieces. Yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. And I feel like we both need to do some accessory shopping. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll do an accessory special next time. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've got some good spring fashion inspo and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye. I loved that. I really need to manifest that little heaven bag. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, what are you loving for spring? What have you just bought? And what are you, what's on your wish list oh for gosh, spring? There's so many things, isn't there? Um, <laughs> so I'm wearing one of my recent purchases from my own brand, Yeti. Yes, um, so more on that later. To always be wearing shirts. Yeah. Um, I think Matt's My Duty is looking really good on the high street at the moment. Yes. I think their new campaign looks really, really yeah, great. Yeah, they are. And they've got it. that new concept store yeah, as well, which so is, I haven't been, but Lou's been, and she says it's amazing. Yeah, because I saw a lot on like Instagram. 
Um, and the so leather yeah. pieces are so beautiful mm, at the moment. Yeah, the quality yeah. is really yeah. good. I love sure. yeah. Yeah. And what's on the wish list? Oh, the wish list, guys. So <laughs> it would be a Bottega Veneta bag, and I'm really liking the hop. Okay. But the issue is that I prefer the bigger one, the big tote. Okay. So right. it's a. Fun. But I love. I mean, you know, I really do believe like Bottega, all the craftsmanship. I know yeah. we discussed it earlier, but um, yeah, I just think the quality is really there. Yeah. It's timeless. Yeah, so no, it's, it's really. It's, it's a really time. good investment. Yeah, place, exactly. I, so I kind of think it might have to come off the wish list. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn, how about you? Um, what have my, you bought recently? My most recent purchase were Garni Leopard print jeans, which yeah. is a bit out there for yeah. me. But um, I've been on a hunt for them for the last three weeks and they came back in stock yesterday. Oh. Oh, yeah, so I bought it yesterday. Yeah. You have to pull the trigger when something's been exactly. out of stock, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It makes you want them more. As yeah. soon as I see well. out of stock, I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. I need you. Yeah. Need On me. my wish list, High Street is IED. I've been looking for some nice, like, really clean ballet pumps, and mm -hmm. they're really good and quite affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then high end. <laughs> Is a, a liar. Have you seen the shoulder bag? Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. my gosh. So, so I actually saw it oh. in. Uh, this is something that's sold out, and now I'm like, oh my god, I really want it. <laughs> Suede brown. Oh, that's no. the one I want. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, that's sold it, out too. Yeah. Yeah. It's sold out. In and I feel like that's so yeah. your style as yeah. well. I can really see you wearing that. Yeah. And I think suede right now yes. is really having its suede, moment. Yeah, Definitely. suede is yeah. a big moment. So that's... Um, but yeah, where are we going to get this? I know. <laughs> I'm going on an, another hunt. <laughs> Stephanie, on to you. So my recent purchase was these jeans from H&M. Oh. I went to the um, the new store on Kings Road. Yes, yeah. another concept and, store. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's such a gorgeous st shop. And they're just like the perfect, almost like 90, straight leg fit. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with them and I think they were like they were under 50 pounds. Oh, yeah. oh. I just think that was a bit of a win. Yeah. 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 Um, Love that. And then when it comes to wish list, actually what I really want is just some really nice outfits from Varley. Oh. Have you tried their fabric? Yeah, they're really Oh really my nice god, quality. it's so yeah. soft. Amazing. Yeah. And they're just super chic even yeah. though it's casual. I feel like it's good for running around town. Yeah. Yeah. Really wearable. Yeah, you can wear it like cozy weekend, mm. maybe yeah. it's Easter. Yeah. Or like a very good travel outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, so yeah, definitely yeah. some Varley. Oh. <laughs> and you? For me, I'm actually loving Zara at the moment. Mm. Their shoe, new shoe drop is yeah. incredible. Some really nice burgundy slingbacks that they've got oh, in. Yeah. Nice. nice pale blue ones, some orange ones. <laughs> <laughs> all the colours. All the colours, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to nice. head to Zara quite Brilliant. soon. Brilliant. <laughs> Next up, last week we had the inaugural dinner for the Blush Talent Management team, which was held at the amazing Wild by Tart restaurant. Marilyn, Stephanie and myself were all there to take a look at what happened. From the glam to the rented outfits, it was pretty extra for a Monday evening. So tonight we are hosting our Blush event where all of the girls on our roster are coming to celebrate each other and network. And we're also doing it in partnership with Lockdown Liquor, which is extremely exciting. Hi. 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 Bit of hair, bit of makeup, a bit more alive. Look forward to seeing everyone, having them all in one room. We speak to all the time on like emails and stuff, but it's our first event has the whole roster all together since shooting all our headshots. So it'll be really lovely. Five new signings since last time. That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Should be glamorous now. Oh, oh, to get my hair and makeup done. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, stop. This is so cool. Hi. Hi, Sophie. This is so exciting. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh my god, tonight, there's going to be loads of people there. So I'm excited to meet Marilyn again because I feel like when we see each other, I always like get really excited. I'm a bit nervous like, with names, but it'll be fine when we're there. Fine. So I'm like actually really quite new to blush. So I joined maybe like a month or so ago. Yeah, I think brands were just a bit like, oh, different like you've got your style i was like posting really consistently on tiktok and stuff like that so yeah it's been really fun done some bits with like next got some bits lined up with some hair care companies which is really exciting got a lot of hair so Hi, Daisy. What's your name? Lovely, lovely, lovely to meet you how do you want it do you want it tight blow dry or beach okay yeah simple well, thanks <laughs> this group looks good oh thanks thanks so much 
Jess actually used to work for Sheerlux quite a few years ago, so it's nice to have her back in the team. But she has been managing all of us amazingly, and she's got me some great bookings so far. So I've worked with eBay and ASOS, which has been really cool, and a few beauty brands. So yeah, it's really fun, really exciting. And it's nice to actually meet, the, meet everyone tonight, because I haven't met all of the external talent. A lot of great friends of the brand already, but yeah, really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see Emily Beanie. Love Emily Beanie, love her style. She's just the coolest girl, and um, she just brings of really good energy. They are, they are their easy cans, so like the on the go version that they have. Got two of their flavours, got the ginger cosmo, which is one of my favourites, and then margarita, because most people love the margarita. Yeah, we started lockdown liquor in lockdown and Sunday, and since then we've predominantly gone into to trade, which is basically restaurants, hotels, pub groups, theatres, airlines, etc. So yeah, it's grown. We're now three years old, and it's yeah, it's been a, as George was said, an overnight success that's continued. My favourite is absolutely the easy margarita. Best, <laughs> best. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I'm in my Birkenstocks. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. I'm wearing this 16 Arlington dress, very classic. Um, black is my safety colour, and it also has this lovely feather back. I'm excited to just be in a group of like really inspirational women. Usually, like I find that quite intimidating, um, but I, everyone's just been so amazing and so welcoming that I have no fear, absolutely at all. Um, I'm just excited to be a sponge and like soak up the atmosphere. Okay, so we are collaborating with her on this event and they have kindly gifted for the evening all of the girls who are attending an item of clothing each which is super generous and I have rented from her before um, and I really like um, the selection of brands I love Cecily Benson on there speaking of Cecily Benson I love this one I think it's really gorgeous and a really beautiful colour oh, so nice to meet you hey, you look gorgeous oh, thank you I've just uh, oh. tried to I'm wearing a Ganny blazer with these jeans and heels. I don't think I'm quite as extra as the Ganny blazer is really cool though. It's cool. It's like a kind of cinched waist silhouette, big shoulders, silver buttons. It's cool. It's a Monday, you know? We want to look great, but like got to ease our way into the week. I've rented from her quite a few times. I've also rented items out with her. I tend to filter by managed stock, which means that they have it. Just if you're nervous of doing a kind of peer-to-peer -peer type loan, you don't have to worry about it if you're doing managed stock. It's literally like shopping from a shop. It's really nice. For event dressing, you can't really beat it. Like everyone feels guilty buying a dress that they know they're gonna wear once. So her main, you don't have to feel guilty about it. I am a margarita girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice. and it is alcoholic. Yes. Cheers. Mm. So blush, as you know, represents well, has an amazing roster of talent. And Jess Roberts, to my right, has been doing an amazing job on outbound, inbound campaigns with them. This is the first time we're going the other way around. So actually a brand has come to us and said, can we partner with the full roster? Um, which is a really nice sort of phase two for Blush. So we've basically got some of our favorite brands in the industry all together for one dinner and to really show what we can do if a client comes to us for the full roster and to, to really work with them on their influencer budget. I hope you're gonna have a fabulous night. We're missing a few people, which is a shame, but most people are here. We're off.
to why I buy tart for dinner. We're currently in a very nice Mercedes wheelie car who are our exclusive transport partner for the evening, taking the whole blush roster to and from the event this evening. Thank you so much, wheelie. And it's lovely, what a luxury experience it is. Been offered temperature change, radio, free bottles of water, it's lovely. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Oh, this looks beautiful. Wild by Tart private event space. I think it holds up to 60 to 100 people, but how stunning is this if you have like a big birthday party, a 40th, or a small wedding? Like this would just be an insane reception. They also have a really amazing restaurant next door, which is sadly closed today, so you can't really see it in its full glory. But this menu is sensational, it's so seasonal, so fresh, it's like the perfect lunch with girls spot in Victoria, so very central. This is a Georgie sentence right now, but if it's sheer lux slash blush, did event spaces and a table, this is it. I mean, A, the flowers, sorry, stunning. These are like, if it wasn't already confusing enough, Wild by Tart is the venue, Wild by Heart is the florist, synergy, but these are absolutely stunning. And then, because we're obviously here in partnership with Lockdown Liquor, but their new cafe noche for bottles. If you are someone like me that always had cafe patron as your shot on a night out, which you cannot get anymore because it's discontinued. I have no idea why they did that. This is the next best thing, like so good. So we are well by tarts. We're so excited to have the blush team in this evening for dinner. Um, we're in the studio space at Well by Tarts, uh, so we can do dinners for up to 60, uh, receptions for up to 120, uh, but tonight it's a nice low-key uh, relaxed dinner. Uh, yeah, we're very, very thrilled to have everyone here. Yeah, very so unglamorous so with yeah, all yeah. the bags. <laughs> This jacket is an old one from Massimo Dutti. I have my YSL, which comes with me everywhere because it's a crossbody and it's easy. And I have my vintage Gucci shoes on, which are the ultimate comfort. Hello, my name is Caroline Labouchere and I'm wearing Dean Marabi. I've been a big fan of Sheer Lux for more years than I like to remember. So it was a no-brainer really joining Blush. I started modeling when I was 56 and my passion now is encouraging women to be excited about their future. I'm 60 in July and I have no idea what's gonna happen in July. I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow, but I'm excited. And that's the main thing, to be excited to be alive and not know what's around the corner. I get that content. Hi, I'm Sarah Blythe, and I'm here with the Blush Management team who I've recently joined. I'm a full-time content creator and interior designer. Tonight I'm wearing a Christopher Esmer dress and I have a pair of Luele heels on. I'm on the Marg. I love the Marg. Marg or Bacante, I go back and forth with the Marg. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a massive shout out to this Middle Eastern brand. I know. I need one. Everyone in the Middle East has one except for me. I need to get one. Should I leave it here? Anyway, I can swap. We can swap. The coat. She wants my coat. So you asked me what I was wearing. I'm wearing a Jane and Tash coat. Although Caroline wants to take it here. I've got the coat. And then wearing a Galvan dress. And 
a de horse belt, Christy Newbridge has shoes, yeah. the mo world's most difficult to walk shoes, I know. but I've learned how, and your so earrings. And that's it. Welcome to our first Blush Talent Management brand partnership. Who better to partner with than my great friends Tash and Jack, co-founders of Lockdown Liquor. And a big thank you to Secret Spa, to her, to Wheelie, to Wild by Tart, and, and Wild at Heart, um, these beautiful flowers. This was a really natural step for us. So yeah, it's great to have started really well. Thank you. Thanks to Maya, our MD, and to Jess Roberts, who's doing a <laughs> phenomenal job. So yeah, thank you to Lockdown. We love you, you know, you know how much we love you. What a brilliant, brilliant brand to partner with. And so what a exciting! Marilyn is bringing the glamour to the sports world. But can we just talk about all this? This is looking lush. So this is Life Studios on Nessa Porta. This What's is it called Life? Lie, L-I-E. Oh, wow. Studios? Yeah. They're a Copenhagen brand. Uh, this is Von Cleef. This is... Pretty. Yes, it has my daughter's initials. And this, this is think, other stories. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm young, so I was just got me. So oh, that's nice. That's so cool. I bloody love that. So this is Cartier. This is Brooke Jewelry Cartier. And this is Heavenly. With the Laura Willis. Yeah. yeah. This is the fun end. You know, at like Christmas when they put the kids on one table. This is, yeah, this is the kids' yeah. corner. This is literally <laughs> the children's area. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. She's nailed it. <laughs> I'm not going to take any credit for that. Maya is doing it all and you're doing a brilliant job. And what a great roster. And yeah, fab evening. Thank you for partnering with us. Thanks this for having this us. Is, like going brand first with our full roster is something we're really excited. Oh, I'm so excited to be by. So what a great night. Yes. What a great group of women. Anyway, it's been fab. Well done. Well done. It was such a fun night. Absolutely loved it. The food was to die for. What did you guys think? Oh, it was it so was lovely, really nice. wasn't it? Yeah. It was really nice to all be together in one room. Yeah, yeah no. It was lovely. Now, I've got you gorgeous three ladies sat on the sofa. The fashion is giving. <laughs> but you all have amazing careers. I want to know how you juggle the hustle and everything. Stephanie, I'm going to start with you. So I think I'm probably more known on either Instagram or as a brand consultant. Awesome. Yes. Um, but I've actually just qualified as a sound healer last year. Oh my god. So gosh. I've got a bit of a change of pace going on. <laughs> yes. And I think actually that's kind of part of how I juggle the hustle, I guess. Yeah. Um, I have obviously kind of very busy life with the kind of business side of things. And I also love the creative side of my work as well. But I think it's really nice to have this wellness element as well. And I basically went to a sound healing years and years ago and just had the most amazing experience. It felt life changing and, you know, just I felt great afterwards. Yeah. And I've really been interested in it over the past few years. But actually, beginning of last year, I was having a bit of a tough time and I thought I'm going to go back to that first sound healer I went to and go and have a session with her. And she actually told me she was doing um, trainings and that I could become fully qualified yeah. and actually that could be helpful as well. So we worked together for months last year and I've worked with a couple of other trainers since then. And so yeah, now I'm fully qualified. I've got um, my first big session with at One Hotel in Mayfair oh, wow. yeah. in April, oh which is very exciting. I know that yes. was gonna be my next question. Like what is the plan now yeah. that you are qualified? So I'm working um, privately with clients at the moment, um, but actually I think it's a really nice opportunity to work in different ways, to connect it to travel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to work with hotels. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to come into the SL oh, office. Yeah, yeah. Really give us do all this <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to move on to Marilyn, who 
you look incredible on thank Instagram. You. Like it is absolutely goals. I love all of Super your cheap. images. Thank you. <laughs> <Super cheap. laughs> However, you are a track and field star, yeah. which I don't think many people might know. Star, so. star. <laughs> <laughs> definitely a star. Take babe. it. Take yeah. it. A hundred percent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Please, can you tell me more about that? And yeah. Uh, so I've been doing athletics since I was 11 years old. Oh so my God. yeah, it's been long a time. very long time. Um, I've competed for Great Britain in hurdles, high jump, um, heptathlon, and pentathlon. So it's been yeah, wow. it's been. <laughs> my jaw's about to hit the floor. Yeah. Like oh my gosh, I've had a break for like the last three years because I have a daughter now. Yeah. And while I was pregnant, I thought. At the beginning of the pregnancy, I thought I was kind of like done with track because mm -hmm. I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was going to really focus on the content creation side. But this was during COVID and they had pushed like all the major championships into one year. Mm -hmm. So I sat at home watching all these major championships. I was like, no, like I need to get back on track and um, just give it like this one final push. So our aim this year is hopefully the Olympics. Um, it's just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that is so like the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just well, I've just been doing it for so yeah. long now. It's just like yeah. a goal yeah. rather than anything else. Oh, well, we yeah. are wishing We're going to be cheering you on. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. Amazing. Yeah. Talk hello. to me about. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Talk to me about Yate because um, you've designed for so many brands that we know on the high street yeah. and now you have your own brand. I have been designing for about 20 years. Yeah. Um, I did my MA in Italy and then I went to Holland and then I was picked up and moved to Coruña. I used to be ex designer for Zara. Um, and I think that's kind of where the bug started, yeah. um, working for Mr. Otega, um, and it was quite direct at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and then came back to London, worked for high-end brands as well as high street, just a mix, um, just because I am really about craftsmanship and high quality products. Um, and everybody knows, you know, the high street is very, very fast paced and I wanted to really, really focus on the product. So I started Jate about five years ago. Yeah. Um, but then during COVID is when I really like focus because I think we all had that little bit more time. Yeah. I think if anybody had a passion project, yeah. that was the time to do it. Yeah, um, so that's when I started focusing on it um, a lot more. And yeah, it's been building. We now wholesale. So we um, sell in America, New Zealand and yeah. Australia. Oh. Um, it is still a very, very small team. It's me and my husband, bless him, has oh, come wow. in. But yeah, he, I don't think he meant that to, but it's kind of, we've got two young children. Yeah. And it's kind of, I, I needed him basically. Um, and he used to sell textiles to the fashion industry as well yeah. um so he was in new york a lot so um but yeah i've got lots of ambitions for it and yeah i hope it's really successful i'm sure <laughs> it will be but you. have you got any tips for kind of how you juggle like your own business um if my family everything if my sister's watching this which she will she'll say i have no balance at the moment it is really really tough <laughs> yeah um i think you know, if you've got a passion for something, just go for it yeah. and just Don't try. Take the and so, yeah, yeah, and something yeah. will happen, or your path isn't always planned. You know, things will happen along the way. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, ladies. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to you guys, and of course to Lou and the Blush team. Next week, we're having a break for the Easter holes, but we do have a To Die For Homes tour in its place. And we'll be back with the show the following week with more great fashion and team content. In the meantime, we would love you to comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.